So that's number one, the base. You want your base nice and smooth uh, because whatever bumps and lumps that you have up under, you'll be able to see them through the wig. Whenever you're wearing a wig, whether it's glueless or glued down, you want the base of your head to be kind of as smooth as possible. Right now I have some braids in, as you can see. And I got my little ponytail back here and I just kind of pull it in up under my wig cap. But there are a lot of different bases that you can use. If you are, actually these aren't even braids, these are actually flat twists. But if you are unable to braid or twist, you can always slick, slick your hair into a low ponytail. Now, once you have your hair in this low ponytail, if you have a good amount of hair, like I have a good amount of hair, so let's say I didn't want to do the braids, I would slick it all the way back and then split it in two like this. So, as a matter of fact, I'm going to turn around so y'all can see. Turn around. So, you can slick your head all the way back into just a ponytail and then split that ponytail into two sections like this. From there, you're gonna take one side of that section and bring it around to the front of your head and use a bobby pin or a hair pin and pin it along the side of your head. And then take the other side, again, pulling it nice and tight and pinning it on the other side as well. Boom, okay? So that's number one, the base. You want your base nice and smooth uh, because whatever bumps and lumps that you have up under, you'll be able to see them through the wig, okay? The next thing you need is a wig cap. I am using the HD wig caps. They are extra thin, like super thin. So in all honesty, you might get one, if you're lucky, two good wears out of them because they are so super thin. But that is also really good for like blending and things like that. But a basic uh, wig cap will do. I like to get one that is skin color, skin tone. But depending on the wig, a black one will do nice as well. Just kind of depends on the wig and lace. And you want to put the wig cap on to protect your hair from the lace and the rubbing and all that extra friction. All right. Place the wig cap on all around your whole head and have it come up to your hairline okay from there once you have your wig cap on your base done your wig cap on then we take a wig grip all right um so a wig grip is this little silicone band here um they they you will normally see them in the universal color which is this clear color um a lot of these you'll find this kind in the beauty supply store uh, if you check out my website i actually have them in two additional colors and i like to use brown again because i want it all to be as seamless as possible so as soon as you open up your wig cap i always suggest giving it a little bit of a stretch um, because they can be really really tight and so you don't want it to be too tight to where it'll give you a headache so when you get a new wig grip give it a little bit of a stretch before you put it on Another way to kind of mold it really nicely is to put it on your head and maybe hit it with a blow dryer. So, I always start, let's start in the back and pull it on up. Put it on your head. Put it on the, back, the base of your head all the way around. Let's see. Right where that cap is, right on your hairline. There we go. Right on the hairline. There you go. So, between the wig cap, the wig grip, and the elastic band that we just sewed, let me go, this elastic band that, you, that we just sewed, if you have these steps, you already can secure your wig pretty nicely. But I'm gonna give you another trick, okay? This is a quick snippet of my Go Without Glue course. Join this course if you are a woman suffering from alopecia so that you can learn how to choose, install, and maintain a medical wig. And for a limited time, I have a special promo code, enter promo code intro to receive $50 off of this course. You do not want to miss it. Make sure you head on over to www.bssu.com and join my course today.
to everyone else, don't forget to follow me on all socials, links in the D-Box. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.